June 2017, paper 2, doing module 1. Alright, employees of an organization work with different types of information on a daily basis. Use the notice below, complete the table to show the type of information used by each of the employees. You just have to choose anyone. Then. The chief executive officer, the CEO, will be using strategic. The middle manager will most likely be using operational. Line manager. Oh boy, I have no idea what a line manager is. I hope that looks he understands that too. People may not know what a line manager is. But we know for sure that the bank teller is going to be um, operational because the bank teller will be just getting the repeating processes all the time. So the line manager will have to be structured. Yep. Because um, the CEO is the highest executive that I have at the, uh, the top of the company, so they will have to think very, very forward thinking, very future thinking. The middle manager is supposed to be tactical. Why write operational? I'm very sorry. Middle manager is supposed to be tactical. Right, yeah. So strategic is long term. Tactical is midterm and um, operational is day to day. Structured seems to be middle manager based on this question. I mean, no, I'm line manager. I don't know what is a line manager. Alright, describe one information report that a middle level manager could use to carry out his or her function. They could get a top level report. This report would show um, the current top level and that uh, would provide the necessary information to know how much order for the next right, example grocery manager ordering um, um for people. if you had anything different and you're not too sure if you'll get the marks let me know as usual all right discuss three ways in which um information systems could be used to improve the management of the testing and examination process and education nine marks all right so you had to pull out the big guns for this so we had to go to our format always remember go to the format um so that's three ways which information systems can be used to improve the management of the testing and examination process in education. Okay, so you could say um, provide online exam. This would allow them to collect the exam much more efficiently and therefore mark them faster and you don't get graded it faster. Two, um, you could have auto marking multiple choice. They would automatically correct the multiple choice responses and avoid having to use an OMR machine, machine to read the answer. Right then, I could have management and testing uh, calculation of mark. The mark would go directly into a database that would automatically calculate and generate report. Okay, those are three straightforward ones. Did you have any others that look? For each of the three ways discussed in above, identify one piece of data and one piece of information. All right, so the first one, um, data. The data that you will get would be um, the number of students, the number of students that will be examined. Number of students. Sometimes it's good to read read further down into the question to see what they're asking again, because then that might make you change the, the type of answer you give before. I mean, if I, if I had read this part, I would have probably changed this answer from online exams, but it's still workable. The most students that do the exam and the information I could get will be the total number of absent students. Alright, so that's one, two. The data for auto marking a multiple choice. Data, the choices, students, and select and information would be the average. I'll make it for the total mark. Total mark the student gets. Number three. Calculation of marks. The data will be marked from all subjects and the information will be the average mark. In the right. right, so the data and information is basically what you're putting and what you're going to get out. So you just have to kind of see from your example, alright, if we put in this, what we're going to get out. Usually Usually when, you, when you're doing your data and information, usually it's a mathematical thing that takes place to convert it. So totals, averages, sums, max, min, all those things, those are usually your more go-to answers. They, they, they tend to work a lot better example-wise, especially for example. Alright, there's three disciplines in the field of computer and other information systems. You have computer science, software engineering, um, computer engineering, and then you have information technology. Alright, cool. That's cake mark. Number two, various hardware and software communication tools are used and information technology discuss two advantages of using email for transmitting information. Two disadvantages of using email for transmitting information. Alright, discuss. So that means we, we gotta give our example because discuss would mean explain and give our example, right? So let's go 
with um, accessibility um, in order to transmit information via email. There must be access to the internet or else cannot be sent. Example, in, in remote areas where there is no internet. Accessibility and then um, security. Security is always an easy one. Email addresses and passwords can be compromised and that would pose a riddle the sender if the information is weak. An example of that will be sending an attachment example sending attachment vertical information that are intercepted all right that would be a good discussion there you state your point take it back to the nation and your prior example it'd be all right there. all right many software tools using information technology are now internet based there's two internet based software tools that are used to store data i guess they want to give you names like Dropbox, google drive OneDrive, drive icloud would it be places that would store data i would assume that they would give it so because i believe they just want to the software tools but i think the answer are the answers for this like the official answers and they have they have those things you know, not too sure what to tell you you are correct in my estimation it's 2017 right yeah. 2017 question two. yeah they have dropbox open here yeah, google drive and all those different things so i don't think they would have given it to you but they should have seen these two examples so i would assume that they would have had uh, some sort of argument about it and they had to give it to you yeah all right, all right, outline two advantages of using internet based storage tools. Um, you have ease of access. The information stored can be accessed from any computer that has internet access. Then you have, um, you have cost slash maintenance. The cost of um, using cloud storage is less than the cost of having and maintaining maintaining your own local storage solution. Right, good. Outline two disadvantages of using internet based storage tools. Also, so we have to give two advantages. Now we have to give two disadvantages. Well, just as much as access could be a disadvantage, uh, um, no internet access would be a disadvantage. If there is no internet available, the user will be able to access their information. And then um, we could say security. The credentials can be compromised and all the information can be lost or stolen by Happen. Right. Um at C search engines are commonly used to retrieve information online. There's two examples of search engine. Example of search engine will be Google. Um then they would also have um Yahoo, the search engine, Bing, ask.com. Yeah, yeah, get all those uh search engines. Explain one advantage and one advantage of using search engines to retrieve information. One advantage I'm gonna explain one advantage of using search engines to retrieve information. Well you could say um you could say the large amount of the large search large range of search results of search results uh, all the uh, all the appropriate um website or the query would be found and give the user multiple sources. All right, part three, outline two advantages of using search engines to retrieve information. Wow, two disadvantages, sorry, outline two disadvantages of using search engines to retrieve information. You may get um, incorrect data may be found because website can be edited by anyone the data may not always be credible and um you could say um specific search queries may be hard to search for example searching for horses and getting horse racing results. right yep so those are some good answers